Hi guys, it's Sarah Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. So more melting pearls with pigment and I'll get right in with my colors. That's Pineapple Crush by Color Art and that's Spicy Apricot by Color Art. I mixed in a bit of Nicolazzo Gold by Golden Fluid and then that is a Burnt Umber Pigment Mica Powder by Hippie Crafter. And then we're going to go with some pearl paints. So that's Modern Masters Iridescent Gold mixed with Golden Fluid Iridescent Gold. And White, which is Modern Masters Iridescent Pearl mixed with Golden Fluid Titanium White. And I pulled a few bloom paints off my shelf. So that's Quinacridone Magenta by Charvin and some Payne's Gray and my Golden Fluid or my Golden um, High Flow Iridescent Gold. So I've been playing with this concept and it's just, I find it really interesting what the paints do and how they react with each other with the pigment. So I started with the Pineapple Crush and then some of that Modern Masters White. And this is, I think that this is all about how you layer the paints. Um, and then that is the Color Art Spicy Apricot in Nicolazzo and a little bit of Burnt Umber. And what I like to do is put the white, usually I put the white down first, and then I put the pigments in between the white and the gold. So I finished it off there with that, with that beautiful gold paint. And what happens is the gold that I put on top, it doesn't pearl as dramatically, and it doesn't drop down and sort of blend and fade like the pigments do. So it gives some contrast within the painting and I'm just tilting it out the way I normally would with a, with a pearl painting. And I'm just, you know, fluid art. I, I love it. It just, it, it always seems to keep me on my toes and curious and I'm always like intrigued by these different reactions and these you know it's like the paint wants to do something and for me it's all about figuring out what the paint wants to do and kind of letting it kind of guide the way and um, it's a very intuitive process so you know sometimes I have a plan I try to have loose plans when I when it comes to fluid art um, you know trying to force something, I always end up in this mode of fixing and, and trying to control and then letting go and kind of letting things unfold the way, the way they want to and the, the direction that it goes is not always what you expect. And I, I think that that's part of why fluid art is, is so magical. Okay, so with this particular painting, I'm just kind of moving the paints around. And as you can see, the pigments kind of start to fade and blend. And then what happens here, um, and the reason I pull bloom paints into a painting like this is because any paint with polyurethane that's thicker, it's going to create a very defined line in a pearl painting. So that satin enamel base coat, what it wants to do is come up and kind of eat up the color and create pearls. So that satin enamel is breaking through your pearl paints. And it does the same thing with the pigment. It kind of comes up and breaks through it. And then when I use, a, like I'm going to bring in some magenta and some Payne's Gray with a thicker paint that's uh, mixed with polyurethane. And it creates a really defined line in the painting and you know it's kind of interesting using a couple different consistencies and different things you can start to have a little bit more control over your composition and what's happening it's still very intuitive however you know the the more we play with different recipes and different things together you know you start to understand how they react with each other and then you're you know you're collaborating um with with your paint <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm going to, uh, that, so that's where I start coming in with that Payne's Gray uh, Bloom Mixed Polyurethane paint. 
And you'll see it stays, you know, it doesn't, the pearls are not able to come through that paint. It kind of sticks up and it stays on top and it gives an opportunity to really define some of these moments happening in the painting and give it definition and depth. And I'll, I, I do some dry work on this painting as well. And then you'll see also where I come in with the high flow and the high flow also doesn't pearl. It kind of spreads out. It's kind of like the cloud over effect um, where it kind of spreads out and uh, blends and, and moves into the other types of paint. So, all right, please, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe and like and share if you want to share this with anybody that you think might enjoy it. And I have artwork for sale on my website and prints. And I would love if you came over to Instagram and followed me there. Um, I'm a supporter of a lot of different things. And um, I'm using color art here. There's a coupon below for color art. And I, I really like the way their pigments behave with this particular application. So, and yeah. Thank you for being here, you guys. Have a really, really beautiful day, and we'll talk very soon. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm.
if you would trust me with your feelings I won't make you wanna run Only in my dreams, only in my dreams I play fair, I don't make you leave Oh, oh my god Why is it so hard to love? Only in my head, only in my head I'm the person I should be instead